Okay, so I had a question on 7.36 here. So I wanted to go through this, um, at least get you started on this here. I'm not going to do the whole problem. Um, but we're having this switch here. Basically, you can look at it as it's connecting up a 6 amp power supply at t equals 0. Um, and be before 0, um, that 6 amp power supply is not connected to the circuit. Um, and so what we need to think about first off is what the initial condition is for the current here. So initially before that switch moves we have the following. And because the switch has been in this position for a long time we know that the inductor behaves as a short So this is for t less than 0. And this is 12 ohms, and this is 8 ohms. So we can get I L at 0 minus very easily. And that's just going to simply be 32 volts divided by, those are in series, 22 ohms. Which, if we do that, you get 1.6 amps. Okay, so we got our initial condition. Then we need to look at the circuit now that the switch has been closed. And so I'm actually just going to go back up to this circuit right here and just look at it here um, and kind of redraw this circuit so I don't have to redraw everything. So when that switch is closed, I'm going to erase, well, maybe erase some, there we go, some of those pieces and this is the circuit we have now. Now we could go ahead and analyze this as is but I'm going to go ahead and um, do a source transformation because it's actually going to make things a little bit easier for me. So what I have here plus minus 32 volts 12 ohms Five millihenry, and now IL is still in this direction, but now we have to be careful here. When I do a source transformation here, this would be plus minus VO on the eight ohm resistor. And then this would be, well, let's just, should be 48. Um, but I'm not trusting myself today with m basic arithmetic. So 48 volts. All right, so the time constant should be fairly easy for us to determine. So the time constant is simply L over R, which in this case would be 5 millihenries over, well it would be 20 ohms again because they're in series. So that's what the tau would be. And of course we need to know what our final value is. So again, if this has been on for a long time, that just becomes a short. But now we have to the two power supplies here. So we have negative 32 plus 12i plus 8i plus 48 is equal to 0. And then just solving this, um, you would get i final. I'm not going to solve that for you. You can solve that. And so, of course, we can get an equation for i l. It's i final plus my initial current minus the final e to the negative t over tau. And of course I'll let you finish that out here. But then the remaining things you have to do is you have to also find this voltage V out. But when you're in this circuit here you're looking for V out here. But wait a minute. 
the current now is just the current going through that ohm resistor. So V out is simply going to be I L at T times 8 ohms. And that's it. And then for part B, um, it's asking you to find the values for VL at 0 plus and V out at 0 plus. Well, V out at 0 plus, you can just use this equation right here to determine what V out at 0 plus is. But for VL at 0 plus, you would have to first remember that VL is equal to L times the derivative of the current, and then plug 0 in.